In this tutorial, we want to talk about a common situation when you need to register a new SSRS report. It happens that your implementation partner creates a copy of existing SSRS report and performs the customizations on it. So in that case, our replicas won't work for you, but you will need to register the modified or the copied SSRS report. Let's demonstrate that. I will go again into the Centric setup. And let's imagine that for the sales invoice, which I have already registered here as the, the Centric replica with some templates, this is the template that you will have as a result of installing our replica for sales invoice. Now you want to print it. But this is what can be the situation. In the print management, if you go here, you might see some other reports and uh, you might be instructed to use some other report and not the one which is the default format for SSRS sales invoice. For this example, I have another format which is .centric, so some prefix, sales invoice, that would be a similar situation on uh, your site. It might also happen that you don't see here a different format, that you still see the sales invoice, but depending on how your implementation partner did it, it can be that it was done in the code and you still see the default format, but some other report is executed. I will leave it this way. And now what will happen if I go to invoices and I want to print them? If I say use print management, let's see what did I configure for the print management here. I have configured to get it on the screen. So if I say use print management, what will happen? This particular dots sales invoice SSRS report isn't registered for the centric, as we can see here. We don't see dots sales invoice registered for the centric. When this SSRS report is executed, the centric doesn't find a matching report registered for it, and it will let SSRS go to the end. So this here is the SSRS format printed out. So what do I need to do to be able to use now the centric design for this particular report? And by the way, notice here it was nicely printed out that this report is executed. So now obviously I need to register this report for the centric. How do we do that? We go into the centric report setup, say new, and these are the two mandatory fields we need to provide. So here I will start typing dots sales invoice. Here it is. And I will select the default format and say OK. I have it here and because we don't know what else you want to do, that's why you got the default DSP class is configured here. I will select the DSP class which comes with the centric replica for sales invoice. So I will select dots sales invoice report DSP. Okay. Now this guarantees that the data source will be generated through our report specific DSP class and will be reshaped in a way how our template expects it. Now here you would expect that uh, you can apply the template that uh, is given with our replicas. Well, it's almost so. So let's go and take that template. So I will go to sales invoice. Here it is. I will find that replica template. Here it is. I will download it. I have it here now in my download folder. Let's see what's going to happen if I apply it to this newly added report.sales invoice. So if I go here and say add, I will leave it as it is. So save, go back. And here now I want to attach this file here. So template file, attach. I want to upload it to Azure and take what is the last thing I have in my download folder. 
successfully upload it. Automatic, it's automatically default because it's a one and only template here. But let's see what will happen with the validation. Previously, the error was that there was no template assigned, but now I still have a validation error. It says that this template is attached to this report, but its metadata, metadata that came from the DSP file, is linked to a different report sales invoice. So this template that we used here, it has the DDSP file that was generated by executing the sales invoice report and not executing this report here. That's why we got the validation error. So what do we need to do to fix this? It's very simple. We need to run this report once to get the DDSP file now through this report and then apply that DDSP file to this template. Then validation will be happy. So let's go here into the generation options and say generate DDSP when report runs, save, go back. And now let's go and print this report once. I can now print again through print management because it will use the SSRS report that is configured in the print management. Now I got the DDSP file that will carry the information that it was generated by executing this report. Now I will open the template. And I will import this last DDSP file. That's all. I will save it and apply it now instead of the previous version. So I will say template file attach, upload this file here. Now the validation should be happy. You see. So once again, we added a new entry in the Docentric Report Setup for the SSRS report that we saw is executed when we are running our sales invoice. We used the template that comes as a Docentric Replica for sales invoice, but we modified it only in that way that we applied a new DDSP file that is generated by executing this report. And when we applied that DDSP file and uploaded a new version of template. Validation is correct. And now we are able to execute the report completely through the Centric. In first phase, we executed it only up to the level to get the DDSP file. Now we are ready to do it completely. So now let's fix the print management. Here in the print management now, I will see also the centric template. So I can say, for example, use the default template and print to the screen. OK and OK. And here, when I repeat printing, I will get the result through the centric template. Here it is. So with this example, we saw what you need to do when you register a new SSRS report. And in the next video, we will see one short uh, cycle of modifying existing report and applying it back in the application.